everybody on here and the lovely Miss Judy had to get up early and come into town, run some errands and trigger warning, I am wearing patriotic colors. You know why? Because I'm a patriot. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I am an independent voter and thinker. And I really don't need to explain this to anybody, but I thought it important because, well, recent turn of events, if you remember a couple days ago, I think it's important that I share some of my views so that if you might feel inclined to donate to the channel or send gifts or whatever, uh, that you know who you're dealing with. And because I don't want you to go back and feel sorry <laughs> that you supported the channel in that way, uh, not knowing who I am. So I'm going to tell you who I am politically, and that is not Democrat and not Republican. I used to vote Democrat years ago, uh, years and years ago, uh, but then the ideology started changing from helping people out of a tough spot to enabling them to stay um, incapacitated and dependent on the government. So I didn't like that so much because I saw a lot of people who were capable were uh, basically just not being encouraged to take care of themselves, you know, go to school, um, try and work, you know, and whatnot. And I didn't really like that because I'm one of those people that believes in personal responsibility and accountability and that if you can do, you should do. And, but I also believe, and you know, a lot of the conservative Republican friends of mine may not agree with this, I also believe that a community needs to come together and rally around people who need help. You know, the um, disabled people, the elderly, the sick, um, the poor through no fault of their own. Um, we, as a, a community of people, God-fearing people, do need to help others out and do need to, you know, extend ourselves a little bit to others. Um, just how much is, I think, the point of contention between the two parties. Uh, so then, uh, for a while, I considered myself a staunch conservative, a staunch Republican. And then I started seeing a lot of hypocrisy in that community as well. And I just kind of had to shy away from them because I am not an extremist in any sense of the word. And if you surround yourself with extremists, you are going to start thinking more extreme. And the longer that I kind of hung out around these staunch Republican, staunch conservative types, the more I saw that many in that group were indeed hateful. Now, I know a lot of you conservatives are probably going to unsubscribe from this channel because I'm saying this, but you know it's the truth, okay? You, you will criticize the Democrat Party and liberals for doing the exact same thing that you're doing. But you know what? The Democrats and liberals do it too. Everybody's at each other's throats, and I don't like seeing that. So, you know, e people on either side, if you feel you need to unsubscribe because I'm saying all these things right now about your beloved party that, you know, you can't listen to an alternate point of view, then consider yourself weeded. You're weed. You're culled. I did some weeding the other day, <laughs> a couple days ago. And it was hard on me. It was hard work. But you know what? You pull some weeds. You know what gets to grow in its place? Flowers. Edible vegetables. <laughs> Nobody wants useless weeds around. So, yeah, that's what happened a couple days ago. And I'm quite happy with the results. So if you feel you need to leave this channel because I will not claim either party, well, then just go ahead and do it. Because I may say some things in the future that will trigger you. And one thing I know for sure is that you can't lump all people into one category like I did a couple days ago. I fumbled through a commentary and offended some people. And a lot of people misunderstood what I was trying to say. And it did definitely sound like I was saying that all Democrats and liberals are 
uh, sociopaths. This is not the case. Um, you know, and one thing, too, there's a difference between modern Democrats and liberals and classic liberals, classical liberals and Democrats, the Democrats of days gone by. Um, a lot of times people latch on to extreme ideas such as, you know, socialism, Marxism, communism, you know, none of those have really ever worked for people. And so some people within the Democrat party think that way, not all. So when I made the comment about how Democrats and liberals invoke the, their usual and customary talking point, you know, hungry children, I was specifically talking about Nancy Pelosi and using her as an example um, of how she frequently uses that talking point, yet has done nothing to, to help the children. In fact, the stimulus bill that should have been out in August, she obstructed everything. She wanted more money for causes that had nothing to do with feeding the children or feeding anyone or putting money in Americans' pockets. So it's, it's liberals and Democrats like her that I don't like. But you can't lump everybody into the same category and call them sociopaths. That's definitely not what I was trying to say. And there are people in the Republican party who, you know, call themselves conservatives, who do the same thing. But yet I can't lump all of them in to the same category either. You know what kind of people I like to surround myself with? People from either party who are able to listen and think critically without flailing. Yes, that's flailing. If every time you hear something and don't hear it all the way through. What's the matter, girl? <laughs> and don't hear it all the way through. You've just had your amygdala taken, taken over. You have lost control of your faculties. And you've lost the ability to think and listen critically. So on this channel, I prefer to surround myself who don't flail. Who are able to sit and listen and understand what's what's being unfolded in front of them in a video or whatever. Um, people who are unable to just understand and, and what's being told to them, you can't get through to them no matter how hard you try. You just can't because they are predisposed to... Oh, what's the matter? She wants to go play with the trucks. Because they are predisposed to uh, loss of self-control. Um, in the comment section, I saw a lot of people um, behaving badly towards one another and towards me. And I understand why this happens. Um, politics is a very heated subject. That's why I tend to stay away from it. But... You know what? This there's some things going on in this world right now, and people need to talk about things. But never again will I try and lump everyone into the same category because, like I said time and time again, if you if you do that, if you form that type of prejudice towards any kind of group or people you are going to miss out on the vibrancy and beauty of this very colorful and diverse world. So, I just need to let you guys know that I am neither an extreme Republican nor an extreme Democrat. I wouldn't even call myself a moderate. I think that what I believe in is personal responsibility, accountability, and being kind to one another and being genuine and honest. And so I know that there's many people from both parties who are like that. Unfortunately, our politicians aren't representing that. They represent greed and self-serving measures. Um, they want to get reelected. And they're using all of us as pawns and pitting us against one another. 
I think if we're able to sit down and have a real conversation about things without flailing, we'll discover that we all have more in common than what we really initially thought. And that's important because we need to keep our leadership in check. We need to make sure that they are absolutely representing our best interests, not their own political careers. Now, many of you um, are go Trump, you know, uh, make a great, make America great again. Yeah, I, I am a make America great again kind of person. And you know what, Trump? <laughs> Let's face it, he's a jerk. He is. His, he is inelegant. He says some nasty things. Uh, he doesn't need to name call. But he is standing up to, to his opponents. I just don't like his methods. However, he's done a lot of good things for this country. And I'll save that for uh, another video down the road if I feel like talking about it. Uh, before this whole you know, current state of affairs in, I don't even want to say the name of it, um, before all of this and unemployment and, and whatnot as a result of it started happening, uh, the country was really prospering. It really was. Uh, and people have called him racist. I don't, I don't think he's racist. I think he's one of the least racist presidents that we've had. But I'll share more of my thoughts about him uh, maybe in the future. But if you think he's our savior, if you think he is the only answer, you're wrong. I don't like anybody who's running for president right now, to be honest with you. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I do think that, I don't know. I think you kind of, you, you kind of got to pick the lesser of two evils. And sometimes I'm uncomfortable doing that. Uh, so I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. Lately, Trump has said he was going to do some stuff. And he hasn't done it. The problem is, is that a president is almost just like a figurehead these days. Unless they, you know, actually wield the power of, a, of executive order. Trump is being held up, as many other presidents have been, by the process of our legal system and its checks and balances, which are there for a reason, but oftentimes they're used to obstruct instead of help America. Um, so he's bound by a few things that he can't do for whatever reason. But I don't know. I've seen him weaken. And uh, so if you think that he's the answer to everything, you're wrong. The answer to everything getting better in America and America getting becoming great again is all of us and we can't uh, we can't make things change if we aren't able to communicate our thoughts and our feelings in a coherent way we've got to learn to communicate with one another and you know not do our, like I did and fumble around and lump everybody into one group we've got to be able to learn to say what we think and say what we feel without calling somebody a racist or um, a white supremacist or um, conversely the n-word or you know that sort of stuff that's all just such ugliness that we don't need it's unproductive and it doesn't serve to benefit anyone so going forward I'm really hoping the people on this channel are the kinds who are able to think critically as well as listen critically because I might have some things to say and if all you're gonna do is flail well I just don't know how much time I have for you because people who flail you will never get through to them so I don't waste my time talking to people like that I surround myself with smart critically thinking and listening people, people who are able to disagree with me, but disagree in a way that shows their intelligence, not their ignorance. And I saw a lot of that happening down in that comment section a couple days ago too. So I was really 
really proud and thankful that there was some of that going on. You know, even if you disagree, even if you didn't like what I said, you stated your feelings and you let me know how you felt without flailing. So, well, anyhow, I got to get these, uh, I got to get these errands done. What's Miss Judy doing? I don't know. She's back there sleeping somewhere. Uh, and then I got to get home and figure out what to do about those chickens inside because they're too big for that little box. I need to start indoctrinating them to the rest of the flock, to the leghorns. So wish me luck with that. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.